my name is Austin Tabor and today I want to show you guys how our support portal works. This is a place where you can submit new tickets, you can look up error codes, you can submit some questions on here, you can check your current ticket status. If you're new to this page, if you've never submitted a ticket with us before, most likely you'll need to go ahead and click the sign up button. But if you have submitted a ticket with us before or you've called in, chances are you already have a login. And what will need to happen is once you get into this page, if you don't know your password, you can try and do forgot your password. Sometimes that works. If that does not work, what we can do for you is we can actually send a activation code to you. Just give us a call. We'll send the activation code. It's a one time thing. Once you get the activation code, it works for you every time. So go ahead and log in. I'm going to use Google to log into this. Once you get logged in, you can see it shows your name up here. You can go to edit profile to change your information. You can submit new tickets. You can check your ticket status. And then you can look at all the knowledge base stuff that we have down here. This is all in articles that we've submitted and written for your use. So let's start this off by editing your profile. You can edit your profile up here. You want to make sure you got a good photo of yourself and all your information is filled in. All right, once you're logged into the support portal, what you can do now is you can submit tickets directly from this portal. You can always call us, you can always shoot us emails, but if you don't want to do that, if you are after hours or you just want to make a, a ticket in the system so that it's a log and you don't necessarily want to wait on hold to speak with us, you can just click new support ticket. Make sure you put your correct email address in there, select your product type, what device you have, your exact model number, Next, you can type in a description. The description I'm putting in here says I'm having consistent arc fault failures. You can attach files like pictures or zip files or whatever you want to put in here. Select your country, then select your company name. For ticket type, you have a couple of options. You have question, troubleshooting, RMA, and a bunch of other ones. I only want you to worry about question and troubleshooting. These are the only two I want you to fill out. Anything you have to submit to us is going to be either a question or it's going to be directly troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, for example, I'll need all the details here. I need serial number, your failure type, what, what happened to your inverter that you need help troubleshooting. A field service dispatch number, if you have that, or a ticketing number that's in your system. Any kind of DC voltage um, that is per string or per MPT if you have a three-phase unit. Um, your AC voltage, line one to line two, line one to ground, line two to ground. And then if you have a three-phase unit, line one to line three, line two to line three, and then line three to ground. Finally, I'll need the customer's name and the customer's address. We'll also need the customer's phone number. And then if you have the information available, the panel manufacturer and the panel model number. There's already a description section up above. So I'd like you to put here is the troubleshooting steps you've already performed. This is like a detailed explanation of what, what happened and what's been done so far. Go ahead and put that in there and then hit submit. All right, so this is what you'll see after you submit the ticket. This is our ticket number. You can also add additional people to this conversation. If you forgot any information, you can edit it. If you got to put a failure type, you can put that in here. Make sure you hit update the bottom to update that. So as you log in right here, what you'll see is the option to check ticket status. Go ahead and select check ticket status. And you can see you've got one ticket. This is an open or pending ticket. You can also look at any tickets that are resolved or closed. They are over here. You can look at all tickets or open or pending. This means that they are not closed. This is being worked on right now. As agents respond to these tickets, you'll see their responses here. If you have more information to add, you can attach a file, you can do it however you want to make sure that, that information gets out to them. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you on here is the knowledge base. What you're looking at here is everything for PV inverters. You can see any kind of error code descriptions, basically what PV ISO Pro 01 or 02 is about, OVGF faults, general knowledge, you can see the password, you can look at RS-45 wiring settings, you can go back to the other pages and you can look up a different article. All right, so a quick way to find out an issue on our portal here is to just enter what you're searching for. Let's say you're, you have a problem with an overheating. So the first thing that comes up here is inverter temperature derating. You can see the actual inverter temperature derating curve and see if your solution might be down here. And sure enough, maybe this solves your issue, maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't, um, there's some more related articles. If you don't find something, submit a support ticket. We'll go ahead and make a ticket for you and we'll even make a solution article for the future. Okay, so let's say you have a problem with one of your inverters. Um, let's say you have a ground fault. Um, and for the sake of argument, let's just say that this doesn't say ground fault right here. You can just type in ground fault, hit search, and you get a couple different articles here that come up. Let's say you need the password for logging to the inverters. Type in password and you get it right here. 0010. Super easy. All right, so you can even log into this portal on your mobile device just using a simple web browser. And from here, you can submit a ticket just like you normally would. And if you attach a file, you can use a camera 
to capture any information you need for this ticket. That way you don't have to have a laptop out to submit a ticket. You can do all this with just your phone. And the really awesome part about this too is you can use um, this same app right here to look at your past cases. And then let's say that you, know, you do want to update. You want to speak to a live person. You can just hit this button right here uh, to make a phone call. And that'll call our service line directly. When you're using our portal, you don't have to be at a computer. You can use that portal right here in this app. Hi guys, thanks for watching the video today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. We'll be following up with those shortly, and if you guys do have any pressing concerns or problems, um, you can always use the portal to submit tickets, but we'll definitely be checking out the comments section and following back up with you guys. Thank you very much.